welcome to Mortar Explorer. This week we are going to be working with color by number or paint by number you may have heard of. So in your kit you have a piece of paper that is double sided. One side has an easier color by number to get you started and the back side has a really complicated uh, paint or color by number. But also I would like to show you a cool program that you can use online for free to make your own paint by numbers. I want to show you this really cool website where you can make your own paint or color by number pictures. So if you go to PBNIFY, so paint by numbers, PBNIFY.com. So it gives you simple directions on what you need to do to create your page. So you're going to load an image. So you have to browse for that. So your image should be available on your computer so you can easily upload it for this website. Okay, so I have chosen my image. I've got my dog here. And then next, click some points on the image to select your color palette. So the more you pick, the more different colors it's going to say. You'll see the one thing that is a little difficult is when you're turning a picture into a paint by number, there's so many different variations of the color. Like you might think the dog's nose is black and his lips are black and his ears are black, but then it turns out it actually is a different color of black, a different version of black. So I'm clicking on different spots in the photo and you're, you'll see that it's bringing up my colors up here. So I'm clicking and it's up to you when you've clicked on as many as you would like. See like this looks like, to me this looks white, but it shows up as kind of pinkish. You can publish it to see what it looks like and you can always add more colors if you need to based on what it looks like. So if I click PBNify, it's going to make a paint by numbers page. So we just have to wait for it to load. Depending on the size of your picture, it may take a while for it to load your paint by numbers. But here's my paint by numbers of my Basset Hound. And I can always add more colors to it. If I think something's not showing up, I can just hit um, recolor and then add more like I saw like this part's not really coming up so I can add that in more spots on there so when I click it it will give me a new image with lots of different colors. Once you have your picture converted to paint by number you can save it so I can do the outline which is the actual paint by number. This one is really complicated you see all the different numbers in there that will show you what needs to be colored in which color. So from here you can print this, you can save it, do whatever you would like with that. There's also, if you go back, you can save the filled one which shows what it looks like and you can save the palette which shows you the colors that originally that I chose. And again depending on if you're doing colored pencils or crayons, markers, uh, or paint. You may not have the specific colors that are shown here, so you can just do the best with what you have. So have fun with this. Try out different pictures and see what they look like. I want to point out for parents, it does say that nothing is uploaded anywhere. It's just be using the browser to view the image, so there should not be any privacy issues. But have fun and make some cool paint by numbers. The answer to last week's brain teaser is a goose because they grow down feathers as they grow up. The question this week is, what's at the front of an elephant and the tail of a squirrel?
I Got a Chicken for My Birthday by Laura Gale and Sarah Horn is the story of Anna, who asked her abuela for tickets to the amusement park, but instead got a chicken? Not only does she have to feed her chicken, but her chicken also stole her dog, her cat, and hamster and is putting them to work. Will having a chicken end up being a good thing or more trouble for Anna? Find out in I Got a Chicken for My Birthday. Some Kind of Courage by Dan Gemeinhart is a historical fiction book that also is full of action and adventure. Set in the 1800s in eastern Washington, Joseph Johnson is a young man surviving on his own. He has recently lost his family to illness and an accident, and now his family's beloved horse, Sarah, has been taken away from him. Joseph faces trial after trial in his quest to get back Sarah. Along the way, he teams up with a Chinese boy, Ah Ki, whom he forms a friendship with, even though neither boy can speak the other's language. Each trial helps Joseph to learn more about family, perseverance, and seeing the good in others. I highly recommend this historical fiction chapter book. Thank you for participating in this Tales and Tales summer reading program activity. If you have not created an account, be sure to go to maricopacountyreads.org or visit the library to register. Congratulations! You've just won 25 points. Be sure to go online and enter the secret code COLORME, C-O-L-O-R-M-E.